Hey guys, Lucky Ojo here. Coming back at you with part number five of Resident Evil 2 Remake for the PlayStation 4. Happy Spooktober, everybody. So, last episode, we escaped the RPD again. And we were hounded by both Lickers and Mr. X. So, we used our last two keys. Well, it wasn't the last two, actually. The heart key, we never found. The diamond key and the club key. And we utilize those to get the electronic pieces that we needed in order to fix the components to unlock the jail cells found in the parking garage in order to get the parking garage key from Ben who was being held prisoner inside the jail that's in the parking garage because that's how the RPD functions. If you're having a hard time wrapping your head around that one, I agree. But that is how the RPD functions. So, uh, yes. All the while, though, being hounded by dogs, a bunch of zombies, and Mr. X. And once we got that second one and the clock tower actually went off and rang the bell... Mr. X got very upset, and he very much hounded us. And we died for the first time in this game. Uh, like three times in a row, actually. I was worried that we weren't going to be able to progress past that, and that actually made me a little nervous. But we survived with all of ten bullets to our name. And we made it to Ada, who started to explain what was going on and explain that Umbrella is spreading bioweapons. And then Annette Birkin is allegedly spreading this thing called the G-Virus around. And that's what's kind of causing the problems. And we need to stop her. And all of Raccoon City's like upper management is involved in this conspiracy. And that's why Umbrella's been able to get away with it. So we need to go to the sewers where her lab is. And that's where we are starting today's episode. So we are in now in a safe zone. We have teamed up with Ada, wherever she may be. She's she's nearby. I believe we have what we need as much as we can. Uh, I don't have any handgun ammo, so I'm going to take two gunpowders and form some handgun ammo. There we go. Okay. Because I had none. Like, literally none. And then, okay, I couldn't see there. There's also a big alligator last episode. At the very end, there, there, there's Ada. She's just being creepy, Ada. Why are you just standing there like that? All right. And we're going to walk out here. And the alligator was like right here, which is a little creepy now that we're walking right where that alligator was. But it's fine. Everything is fine. Let's walk back here and see what, what we got. Anything of use? No. And we'll just head out. No big deal. No way that huge alligator that was literally just here will come to bite us in the end. No pun intended. Thanks for all four bullets. Ammo was pretty hard to come by, but survival horror in general. That was all that they had in this area. Again? It's not too late to turn back, Leon. <laughs> no chance. You're stuck with me to the end. Uh, I didn't realize their lips move when they talk. I, I haven't really usually turned the camera back to take a look at them. Uh, what's interesting is there's something happening above us, and we don't know quite what it is. It's some kind of ex series of explosions. Oh, uh, okay. It's saving because I'm about to do something I can't go back from. Yeah, let's jump in sewage. You sure this is the right way? Unfortunately. Wait there. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, remember that big alligator from before? Yep. 
perfect. Okay. And then I lean the other way. I think he's going this way. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Ooh! There, yeah. I have a pretty good idea where he's going. He's leaning on top. Actually, I don't know what this Okay. Uh, uh, okay, he was leaning towards the middle. Bullet. Chew on that, you overgrown son of a bitch. Uh, what do we got? I'll take that grenade. Uh, wow. Okay, that um was a little bit easier than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> I kind of thought that was gonna be. What the hell was? Just get up here. Oh, that was gonna be harder than that. That scared me for a second. It was a chase sequence, and then I got nervous that this boss was going to destroy me. But it was kind of easy to read what direction it was going to bite in. I didn't warn you. You said the virus turned people into monsters, not reptiles. Fair point. I'm just impressed you made it in one piece. I'm not entirely sure we should be using an elevator. All right, Ada, you do your thing. So let me get this straight. Umbrella sells monsters like that to who? Our military? Somebody else's? They don't sell the monsters. They sell the viruses that make them. And Annette is who makes the viruses. Scary as that alligator was, Annette is far more dangerous. Well, that makes me feel safer inside. It's just like one of the things, like, what's more terrifying, the atom bomb or, like, Oppenheimer? There's a save point, which is not making me feel good about my things here. Definitely William's handiwork. Identify yourself. Annette Birkin. She's who we're looking for? Not much time. Need to dispose of it. We're here for the G-Virus. Huh. That's not gonna happen. I'm warning you, Doctor. Oh, yeah? Hey! Stop! Expect that from a scientist. Uh, Leon. Forget about me. Just go. Stop her before she gets away. Oh. Wow. Leon just literally took a bullet for Ada. I'm right outside the facility in pursuit of Annette. Not on her. It must be in the nest. Once it's in hand, I'll call for extraction. You can run, Annette, but you can't hide. Oh, we're playing as Ada now with all nine bullets that she has. Okay. Also, everything she was saying was ultra sketch. EMF visualizer. Uh, the, use the EMF visualizer to track wiring and hack electronic equipment. Aim and then hack. Okay. It's secret weapon time. Secret weapon time. 
Got you. So we get the power source and then we hack the actual equipment. So uh, that's scary. That blade came like right behind me. Candy from a baby. So I think she said she was either FBI or CIA originally. I think she said FBI. Hundred percent. She's not. Not that. Uh, there is the. So we can divert the power. Well, so first let's do this. We'll do her fake. Or not fake. We'll do the fan. Then divert the power to whatever it needs to go to. Yeah. Which is the door. September inspection, week one. I already put a request in last week, but we must have a replacement for the ID wristband ASAP. We need to gain access to certain areas of the main facility. In other words, me and my crew can't get to the places we need to in order to do our job right now. So I don't hear anyone uh, I don't want to hear if anyone accuse him of slacking off. Okay. So that's how we get through there. I'll take the ammo just in case I get the sensation that there's going to be some dudes here. Yeah. That was the end point. Whoa, ho, ho, okay. That was, whoa, okay. Holy camera angle there, Batman. trying to get and failing to get where this thing goes. Because it looks like it just goes in a loop. That, or it goes further down somewhere. lock that door that should give me some time here to figure out where this thing does now that goes there and that's it that's where I need to go but there's no further cords that go there That's it. And that, that. And it's unfortunate, but I wish I could just lock them in there. Alright. 
So now I have a little bit of time because I don't think they're really chasing me anymore. Oh, I could go back here. There we go. There's different people here. This at least means that I'm heading in a direction. dead end so I'd have to go Here we go. Oh my god, don't bite me. I finally make it and I can get up. All right. Got you now. Yeah, I got you now. Except I really don't. There are a lot of dudes there. this. What? Oh, never mind. That is why I'm dead. Okay. Uh, no, I do not want to switch to assisted. <laughs> Continue. I like how... <laughs> If you die three times, they're like, hey, scrub, uh, we see you suck, so do you want to go back to assisted mode? And it's like, I, I get what you're saying, but I'd rather play this the, the right way here. And that hurt my pride a little bit. Persistent bastard, aren't you?
Let's just run and get out of here. Oh, man, this is complicated. All right. Good news is I have zero health whatsoever. Well, that's not complicated at all either. September inspection week two, with the new wristband that's just arrived, we can finally begin our survey of the destination area. As the report the other day of the incinerator, it's nothing really, uh, probably just a large piece of leftover trash. I'll go take a look at myself after I wrap up this report. ID wristband, nice. That's not good. Bravo. Gonna burn me alive now. You'll never get your filthy hands on the G. I'm not the only one after it. You realize that. Then you won't die alone. Okay, so now there's a puzzle, but here we go. We have that. one. I'm about to die anyway. And then we can break this one. Let me break that. that bitch knows what she's doing. Okay, cool. I figured that out. Um, <laughs> I barely figured that out, but figured it out. All right. And this one just comes to power. Oh, I have the wristband. So. Confirmed. Your ID is authorized until October 1st. Please return before this date. Not going to happen. So we need to return before October 1st. I think this all happens in September, so. Annette was very adamant that we're not getting G. I don't know what her deal is. Enough with this cat and mouse game. For real. The game is over. You lost. Tell me, is your husband still alive? Or did you kill him so you could take credit for G? Interesting theory. You don't cooperate. I'll get a sample from the nest. Over my dead body. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, there's blood. Oh, that's why there's rebar. <laughs> Ooh, Ada, you've seen better days. Where's Leon when I need him? Oh, 
to be fair, you left Leon. <laughs> but she did patch him up. Damn it. I'm saying Super Trooper just took a bullet and just gonna roll with it afterwards. Ada, where are you? So I'm assuming we're going this way. Well, let's see if we can go. Oh yeah, that's that's Tor. So we're not going that way. Like the epitome of metagaming. We would just take the same path Ada did. I think we're good on items. Let's save because I don't want to do any of those sequences again with Ada. And then we'll continue on. Because I'm pretty sure this is another area. Yeah, they'll pass the water gate. We, did, we, we haven't been to a water gate. So now we need a tea handle, which if I remember right, that office in uh, that we kind of came down through when we escaped originally also needed a tea handle. So now we have, yeah, tea handle. Let's kind of see what's down here. Shotgun shells? I'll take them. Because this has been just a terrible, terrible ride for Ada. And then, like, I can not only imagine the infection that Leon will get. Ooh. That is... Like a military dude, and he got tore up. USS Digital Video Cassette. And it says something on it. Examine. Operation Nest Wrecker. Okay. killing these dudes, but I don't really have an option. It's a very small space. The treatment facility is locked. Electronic part. We'll take that. That raised that bridge. So let me put that back in and see what happens when I go to walk in there. There's a dude there. 
Ho ho ho, that was close. But he can stand up at the top. So that door is locked too. Oh, he's fell. So now that we're back down here, we went up that way, we went here, this goes up. We haven't gone down here. This is the T-handle waterway. No, this is where the gate came in. Right, this is where we drop down. So we kind of drop down right there. What's back here? That's the T-handle. This is the water gate itself. This is where we dropped in. So that's, that's what this is. It's saying that there's something here. Oh, sweet. Okay. I'll take the ammo. So that was, that was all that was here. So that was just a minor thing that I missed. So now I'm no longer missing that. So I have to... I think I have to go that way. I just missed something along the way. So we can't go back this way because it requires a T-handle. And I don't think we have a T handle in our inventory. If we look up the area that we climbed into, this door was locked. This door was locked. Oh, we could have went to the right from there. And that would have brought us into another area. So we need to bring that back, that back down, that area back down. So we'll come back here. I can do this. I didn't really want that. Okay. Day. Meanwhile, I will put that in there. And according to this, there should be a path right here. Take the survival knife. We need to equip that instead. That is a smarter decision. All right. So now we're in another waterway. In this waterway, we should be able to take. If we go the correct direction, that is. Oh, that's a straight way down. Let's, let's try it. Yeah, that's what I said. Okay. Not my ideal way of doing things, but we'll roll with it. We also need the T handle there. We've registered that. The, that something just jumped in the water there. That's reassuring. That is alive. Uh, 
so we're gonna pretend that that's not <laughs> immediately killing something. Uh, I lost my knife for that, but I'd rather lose my knife than my life, so. Let's see what's up in this control room. We might be able to get the knife back later. Cable car. Interesting. So there's a cable car down there. There's some items down there too. I see like a red herb. Where'd she go? There's a bridge here. Shotgun shells that I'll take. Yep. There's other stuff in here somewhere. Looks like there's... Copy of Umbrella email, or copies of emails to Umbrella HQ. Director Owens. There are alarms going off all over Nest. I don't know what's going on, but I can hear gunfire and I can't reach the section chief. We're trapped. Please send help ASAP. Director Owens, the situation here is dire. Nest has been contaminated with a virus. It's unbelievable. The fail system didn't activate at all. Is this the work of outsiders? I can't imagine who else it could be. But why? Mayor and Kim are dead. I can't stop coughing. Why won't you answer me? Director Owens, you. It was you all... Uh... Mm, so Director Owens seems not okay. So there's, there is a dial lock. That's a one way passage. Well, you don't have much of a choice. I suppose we'll head this way. I suppose we'll head this way too. Sound of that. Looks like there's a map up on the wall. Come on. Ada. I'm coming, Ada. Sewers map. Handgun ammo times eight. I will take it because I don't have like anything. Here's a, a series of things in here. All right, let's figure out. Sewers Company pamphlet. Greetings from your CEO. Thank you for your interest in Knight's Construction Company. Over the past 20 years, we have had the honor to work on the sewer systems of our country's greatest cities. We're never losing the sight of our two core principles of playfulness and superior industrial design. At uh, KCC, we believe just because our work is subterranean doesn't mean our designs have to be subpar. More refined than a queen, more polished than a knight, and as pleasant as a pawn. Our work is sure to bring victory to everyone involved. May we meet all uh, on the field someday. Knights Construction Company CEO, World's Chess Alliance Honorary Member, Raccoon Chess Club Honorary Advisor, Fisher Chess Lovers Honorary Director, R.B. Fisher. Okay. So I think we can use this tape. Sweet, because there's a VCR in here for some reason. A Kirkpatrick. Please stop. No, 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 no. Don't hurt him. Oh, that's eyeball guy. I'll bet those rats spread it. Ah, so that's what we were supposed to see. So, 
pretty good indicator to the rat spread it so we can store that and that's not a big deal since it's right there we don't we could have got it out of our inventory by deleting it alternatively we can just do it there pretty sure the rook and the knight are on the same wall and the bishop and queen aren't next to each other and the queen and the rook are opposite to each other unlocking the u area door I lost the thing that tells you how to unlock the door to the U area during the last mad dash of transfer. I know you have to stick one uh, plug into each terminal, but if anyone remembers which plug goes to where, please be a pal and share the posting on the wall info on this board. So we need to find the plugs. Now, if... Okay, so... I can see... On a couple of them here... They have chess pieces on them. So you have a pawn. The knight was over there on the other side. That's a bishop. So we're missing the rook, the queen, and the king, it looks like. What's, oh, that's the wrong spot. You should be here okay and that'll open this door which I imagine takes us to uh, okay yeah, the other electronic parts the rook we saw earlier and we have to somehow get back to We have a map. We can't get back up here. The cable car might be able to take us there. I'm going to save one more time in that save slot we already have. Just to make it work. Because now we need the electronic parts. And then see if we can get through this door. Okay, so that motor works. We were able to bring down the bridge. And that's how we're going to get back up. Okay. So a couple things. Let's verify. We have a safe here. He's probably going to jump up at me. But I'm going to grab this in the meantime. Yep. Till then, I am going to run down here. I see a big guy down here. way show that I need this and then come back go this way no I can't go this, way. this is getting close There we go back to this waterway, but I still don't have the necessary, whoa, I did not know he jumped down, that's a little scary. Then there's this guy who has my knife.
I may have wasted way too much shotgun ammo on that. But, kind of wanted my knife back. Alright. And the pump action is quite a bit stronger than the other ones were. gotten myself back to where I was. Wait, well, is this is going to take me back to... Well, you'll see where I'm at when I go up this. I think this is just the room that I was in before. Before I jumped down. Yeah, the three-letter thing. This is not what I need to go to. This is where I, I see... Which... Now I know exactly where that is, because now I can see that guy waiting next to that safe. So now I have a better appreciation of where this is in comparison. But this is not what I'm looking for. I need to go the other way down this waterway. Like the way I went up it, which I thought I went a one way path down this waterway, which I suppose I have more flexibility now that this guy is gone. Maybe not. Now that this guy is here. really don't like fighting those guys. I really need that tool. But I didn't see the tool anywhere. I need to get back to the workroom lift. Oh, there is a way back to... No, that's just a T-handle slot. Maybe I truly did miss something here. Metal coming here. That's the safe. Oh, this is to the cable car platform. I, I did miss something. I, I missed going to the cable car platform. So if I go through here and I come up back through here and turn instead of going through this door I can go right to where the cable car is I should ignore the guy yeah I can go this way didn't even pay attention to that so for one I can grab this I can combine these can I combine all three Oh, I totally can. Sweet. I'm gonna keep that one in my back pocket, so to speak. And then there's the tool that I needed, which is make, gonna make the rest of this make sense. ID wristband required for cable car entry. And then this would be heading down. I don't, there should not be any other items, but there's gonna be delivery receipt. Uh, the item b below has been delivered to your location, specified in your order, heat-resistant safe. The combination is written on the side of the safe in chalk. Please remember to erase it before you use the safe. So, the other safe, if I had just paid attention, we would have had the combination. So, let's go fix that up, shall we? There is a zombie there. 
So let's kill the zombie and then go take a look at that safe. Two twelve eight. Two twelve eight. There we go. That's a shotgun stock. Just keep on adding things on. So that makes it easy to control and everything else. That shotgun is huge. So now that we have the tool, we can just open up all kinds of stuff. And I also don't particularly care if... Oh yeah, let's, let's go over here first. The first thing we can open is on this side. Sewers key. And that, okay. Which is a key to the section of the sewers. That seems extremely useful, actually. And that goes up. There's also a ladder down here. And that area looks extremely hazardous. So before we go down, I'm going to go back up. Because there's, it looks like another area that I can unlock with this tool. Just kidding, it's shattered. And it looks like I can only open it from the other side. But before we come back to this area, because it looks like this area is actually important, because there's quite a bit of things here. Looks like there will be some inventory management to be done before I come back to this area. The workstation lift is right here. And this should take me... Shotgun shells. That is beautiful. Back up. I don't know how far back up. I don't trust you at all. Hiding place. A roll of film. So I'm gonna unlock this door. I'm pretty sure that was the locked door when we got like the three locked doors that we couldn't go through. I'm pretty sure that was one of them. A hip pouch is in here. Yes. Okay, sweet. So that solves part of our conundrum here. And then handgun ammo, which is right here. I'm going to jump past this guy. Open up this treatment facility. Because we have the sewer's key. Go 
gunpowder large. So what I'm going to do with gunpowder large, I'm going to combine it with this to make shotgun ammo. Combine that shotgun ammo with this just to get rid of that area. That was all that was in here was just shotgun ammo. Uh, it's a little depressing actually. I did not mean to do that. But uh, that's going to force me to use this. That's unfortunate. It's fine. Fight into me. You're not going to do anything. Now I have defense because I have, uh, what you call it? The other. Well, first things first. Let's get you. We need you. Uh, let's open you. And then I don't need you anymore. Oh, here we go. S Z F. Uh, Jazz Festival Flyer. S Z F. I imagine that's the code to that one up top. And that's all we needed from that. And I think we can go back down. That's a plug socket. And I think if we go back down, if we go, or is there another? Yeah, T handle bar slot from here. Oh, how do I go back down? There, it's right here. Okay, cool. All right. And that way I avoid the zombies along the way. And there, it's right there. Except for the zombie that, the zombies that are just popping up right now. Out of the way. We'll open that bad boy back up. T handle still being used. Where am I heading now? Where does this put me? Right next to where the cable car comes down, I think. Or no, this brings me to where that area where I needed item management. Yeah, so the area that was broken. This is good. This is good. I still have a bunch of stuff, though. So I need to go item manage real quick. Wrong button. There we go. Up here. I believe... My area that I need to be in... Is up here. Yes, okay. So, for the puzzle the rook and the knight are on the same wall, and the bishop and the queen aren't next to each other. And the queen and the rook are opposite each other. So the rook and the knight are on the same wall. So the rook will be on this part. And the queen will be opposite of it. So if we assume the bishop is here, the rook would be here. In theory. Assuming the bishop's in the right spot. If not, we'll have to flip 
Well, no, the pond's in the right spot. So, it, pretty sure this is it. And the king goes here and the uh, queen goes here. Pretty sure. That's how that would that would fly. I can say that with reasonable confidence. And then we just need to do some inventory management real quick. Don't need this because we can't do anything with it at the moment. These two can be put away for now. That can be put away for now. Actually, what I should do instead of having this, I should make a three way. I've already mixed one, one that's already half. Take this one and then a green. I don't think I need a grenade at the moment. So there's two, four, six, eight openings. And then we will save. And I think we'll end this episode here. I know we're not fully done with the sewers. But I think this is a good spot. We made quite a bit of progress in the sewers. So we made like Ada is very shady. Um, something's not quite right with Ada's thing. If I don't, at this point from the evidence base, just from what we've seen, it's hard to pinpoint exactly what's wrong with Ada's knowledge, except for she's talking to somebody else on the radio and it doesn't seem like something an FBI agent would be doing offhandedly it seems like because an fbi agent would be more like let's rescue citizens let's shut down let's make arrests and she's doing none of that it's more like let's secure samples let's grab the virus it's more like she's working for a counter group than a government agency unless it's like a super shady government agency i guess like it might be style but it seems there's more data than meets the eye so far she's given much more reason to be weary of her than originally thought leon however is just super naive young first day on the job and wants to be a hero and wants to save all the people of raccoon city which i can appreciate it's just he has a huge hero complex but we're making our way down there. And he's trying very, very hard to save Ada. Uh, took a bullet for her. Super Trooper. Woke up. Immediately starts looking for her again. Despite his pain. Jumps in a sewer. Despite the fact that he's going to get like sepsis. Or dysentery. Or who knows. Uh, into, that, into that wound. And is still trying to save her life. And he's just. He's a trooper. So, uh, a little bit of hero complex, but in the same context, he's, he's really trying. But as it stands right now, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below of what's going on or what you think about the fact that the company that built the sewer system was the head of the chess club. Uh, I didn't really say anything at the time, but they totally had a pamphlet of like, the guys that built this was the head of the chess club. And to unlock a door requires a series of chess pieces in a very specific fashion. I don't know what you guys think about that. Uh, it's it's truly interesting that they tried to wrap a logical means around that. Happy Spooktober, everybody. As always, let us smack down on that like button. And we will see you next time.